Hey everyone, today we're going to see what's up with this abandoned parking lot sinkhole. Since the spring, because someone got hurt and threatened to sue the property owner, even though they were not supposed to be here, they still tried to sue. This whole place is gated off. No more trucks are allowed to stay here at night. That's bad. It's a nice lighted place. It was a good place for truckers, based on the tire marks. Some people drive in here anyways across the lawn. It looks kind of cool. Now it really looks abandoned. Look at all the grass starting to grow in the cracks. It's only going to get worse and worse. Sediment's going to get everywhere. This place, I wouldn't be surprised if there's plants growing in it a couple feet tall by next year. So, there's a bunch of markings here. I don't know what these arrows mean. Maybe this looks like they were going to dig this whole area up. But yes, they did fix the Kmart sinkhole. So, it looks like they have a nice safe parking lot. Now, you see the semi-new pavement. This thing was fixed a few years ago. I bet they just filled it in and repaved. They didn't even fix the problem, which was the pipe connecting to the structure had a big gap, allowing soil to wash out. Now, since they did all this, hopefully they replaced the entire section of culvert. You see, this parking lot here is semi-new. It was paved about five years ago when the store was still operating. Over here, it's a lot more cracking. It's more falling apart. There's a lot more debris. Kmart was doing bad five years ago. Why would they repave the entire parking lot? It wasn't needed. Every time I'd go there, it was literally just for the discount shelf. I could just go to another store for like a quarter of the price. At any time, there's usually like the same amount of employees as customers, which is sad. Not many Kmart's left. I believe there's only two left in the country. It's kind of eerie how the they just leave all the lights on. Like, I understand they leave the lights on because if they weren't, it would be a dark building, and I bet there'd be graffiti everywhere since cops wouldn't be able to see if someone was here driving by. That's also why they leave the lights on inside the building. There are a good amount of lights still on inside, too. But I think the big sign on the building... And the big one out by the street should be shut off because someone who doesn't know it's closed might try to pull in here and waste their time. The big sign out by the road looks like it's about to burn out. A year ago, that thing was fully lit up. Looks like half of it burned out or blew a fuse or something. Let's go check out the lake drain, which is only five minutes away. Been wanting to see that. Haven't been here in about a month. See what's happening. I don't know if we're going to go inside the pipeline today, but my prediction would be that the water is probably low because we are technically in a drought. It did rain today, but only a half an inch, which did not put much of a dent in the drought. Uh, when, last time I actually walked through the pipeline, there was a lot of spiders. You could see the piece of junk culvert was kind of crushed like an oval. A bunch of the seals were popped out because of the pressure of the water. The seals they had on that culvert are made to stop water from inside leaving, but because it's underneath the actual lake, pressure pushed out the seals. The DOT tried to fix it with deck screws and glue that wasn't waterproof that I showed. All the glue washed away and the deck screws were rusting. It was stupid whole thing was stupid but it's been about two years and I bet by now sediment has filled in the crack so I bet it's barely leaking now but it could have left voids it's not a good structure it's definitely not gonna last as long as the old lake drain all right everyone it's starting to get dark out the DOT is keeping up with this yeah you see the new fence we saw that last time that's to keep beavers out against that structure I knew it was going to take them a while. It took them a whole year to clog this thing up, the beavers. It took a long time. Now it'll take even longer with the new fence. Good on the DOT. I don't see any junk collected against that fence from the beavers. I see a few leaves, but good. They're actually taking care of it. Let's go check out the pipeline inside. Not too happy at the moment. The tripod I'm using, I've literally used for the past eight years a little pin just fell out of the tripod that must be what I heard when I got out of the vehicle something fell I'm gonna have to search for that hopefully I find it so a pin that holds the leg together and looking at the other ones it doesn't look like something 
relatively available. I'm trying to get down this steep hill right here leading to the culvert exit, but it's so overgrown that what used to be a trail, it looks like the kids who used to play here grew up. It's not a trail anymore. Now, I'm probably gonna flood my boots. I don't care. These boots already have a hole in them, so it's a lost cause even trying. Down here, it's very stagnant, a lot of mud. That's where the old lake drain would have come out. It's good, it looks like they're gonna let all this turn back into forest. I can already feel water. These boots are gonna go in the garbage. Wow, look at all the debris here that must have floated out. Whoa, frog. When they unclogged it about a month ago. Yeah, see these boots right here? I really like these boots. See the company? that makes it right here. I've used these boots for years. They usually cost 20 bucks at Tractor Supply or 40 bucks on eBay if you want a steel toe one. Uh, they're still the same price. I would have rather them raise the price because now the sole is so cheap. You have to fix it every time you pull your shoe out. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this uh, there's leeches on this piece of wood because you see all the spider webs. I literally can't go in there without a stick Need a stick Last time I did this at night as soon as I was in there doing this I Could see the spiders right behind me immediately rebuilding thankfully they're cave spiders mostly Ski this all around be cautious of spiders that are holding on to the stick. See all these white dots all over the place? Spider poops. Wow, so many spider webs. Oh, a crayfish. Hmm. Yeah, these spiders, they don't expect me to come back. That's why they're building their webs immediately. Wow. Look at the amount of slugs and spiders. Wow. Hundreds of spiders in here. Cave spiders. All right. Let's get this over with. Those are all egg sacs all over the ceiling. So many spiders. It's really hot in here. Very humid. That small lake heats up. Wow, the ceiling is crushed a lot. Can you see that? I can feel it walking through here. It's at least four inches shorter because it's crushed like an oval. I drenched myself, even my hair, in bug spray. Because I knew there'd be spiders. Look, there's probably Tens of thousands of them in here. Does anyone know what this weird sludge is growing in the water? Tell me, I'm curious. This is why the spiders are flourishing. Look at the amount of flies inside the culvert pipe. I wonder how many flies followed me in because of the light. Wow, the ceiling is so short now. It's crushed a lot. And there's a bunch of sediment here. Guess where the sediment came from, everyone? It came from the leaking, washing out. I'm uncomfortable now. The sediment is making the ceiling even shorter. So I'm very close to the spiders. Yeah, this thing was put in bad. I can see the whole pitch of the pipe is aimed down instead of out to aim towards that way. This amount of water shouldn't be built up in here. It's not the sediment either. The sediment wouldn't have got stuck behind like this. Yeah, this pipe's a piece of junk. Ooh, I see fish in here. Wow, a bullhead catfish. I caught some of those when I was little and kept them as pets. 
They even had babies in captivity. Then I released the babies. Wow, so many bullhead catfish. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Look what the DOT left inside. All right. Now I'm going to report that. I can't even set up my tripod in here. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I need that stitch. A lot of spiders right here. I see the end down there. It's all beaver debris, even a tire tread. This isn't a big clog, but I'll show this to the DOT. Yeah, look, DOT can open that up and make it real easy instead of making sure it doesn't get stuck in any of the other joints. Oh, I'm getting a little claustrophobic knowing that I can't get out of here fast enough for that. Okay, the pipe is very crushed here. And that beaver debris and sediment in the pipe is causing this to build up. Okay, look at this. Wow, look at how much the joint slipped apart. It's a good seven inches or so. Up top, not so much. The gaskets are gone, they washed away. More spiders, a whole bunch of them. The leakage is towards the end. Like I said, it probably was done. You know, the sediment probably made it stop. Yep, here's one of the repairs they did. Barely leaking, just like I thought. See, the, look at their stupid gasket, this glue. It was all up in here. It got destroyed by the water and like melted. The culvert was upside down at one point before installation. That's why this is here. Most ladies. This is the last joint. No more leaking. Okay. The DOT did not repair this at all. It was naturally repaired. But the culvert is still settling. Very unevenly. Joints are still slipping apart. It wasn't connected properly. Put in right. Ah. Crouching through this thing is not fun. Not at all. I'm so exhausted. Look at this guy making a web right in front of us. Wow, I got spider webs all over my camera to tripod too. Ah. Whoa! You saw that guy. Spiders are dropping themselves down, making webs. It's so humid in here and I'm exercising so much. Uh, there's a spider on my tripod rig. Get out of here, I don't want you biting me. I'm not afraid of spiders, I just don't want to get a flesh eating bacteria from them. At least this tunnel's not full of black widows, which make my arms swell up. Bad. I've only been bit one spot. Here's another spider dipping it. Oh, need a little break. It's so humid outside. It's tropical outside. That's not normal for Massachusetts. I don't know about right now at the moment, but today we had 76% humidity. That's like the highest we will get around here. Thankfully it was only 78. Tomorrow, whole rest of the week's in the 90s. Now, we're actually in a drought, but why is there a good amount of flow going through this? That's because we got a quick half an inch of rain today, and most of the watershed is coming from parking lots, so the ground can't soak it up. That's why this will flood and become high water for just a little bit. Like, if you were in a rural area, rivers typically don't flood unless you get a whole bunch because the ground can't absorb a lot of that stuff. But in a city, you can get creeks flooding their banks just because of all the roadways. All the water goes down storm drains. 
It can't permeate into the ground, so it gets concentrated. That's why you need retention ponds in a city, so you don't overwhelm the creeks. Oh, more spiders. Oh, oh finally a good stretch. Oh, I'm sweating like crazy. I don't see the crayfish, she's gone. Oh, uh, I'm sweating like crazy. Can you see that on me? Turn the light around. No, it doesn't turn around. It's not, this is like the third time this has happened to me. I can't turn the camera light around. I literally have to get a pair of channel locks out. Probably because my hands are wet. Can't turn the knob. <sighs> Alright everyone. Hope today's update was good. You saw all the sediment in there? That washed out of the cracks before sediment eventually blocked them. So there are voids. That's probably why the whole pipe is settling unevenly. It's got low spots everywhere. The good news is, it's not happening anymore. That's probably... The worst it'll get, it will become crushed over the next few years a little bit more, but no need to panic right now. That thing's a piece of junk. It's not gonna last as long as the other one. Other one was installed in the 1960s, making that thing about probably 55 years, give or take a few years. This new one, who knows, maybe they'll get lucky and it'll last a good amount of time. I think plastic's junk. It's just crap. Use reinforced concrete. Plastic, on the other hand, for people who do like it, think of it like this. It's cheap, but look how much microplastic is going to be put in the environment from that gravel and stuff washing through. Hate that stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'm so happy I found the part. I heard that I dropped it, it bounced into the car, which is a good thing. You see, it's a little tiny screw, Allen wrench screw that holds the tripod together. Good, now I can continue to use my favorite tripod for years to come. This is honestly probably the most I've sweat in years. The dew point is so high, you use a lot of energy when you're crouched that long and trying to rush through a pipe while waving your arms, getting spiders out of the way. Also, claustrophobia makes you a little bit nervous in there. It's rare when I get claustrophobia. It's because it was so tight with the thing being crushed like an oval, the sediment, walking over the clog, the spiders. It all built up on me a little bit. I wasn't scared by any means, just felt uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable.